like this way. Yeah. Okay, we're going. Oh. All right, empty eyes. So they come in a canister like this, right? Most people, you take this off instruct them to breathe in and you go through the mouth. Well, when you're not able to instruct them to breathe in, then you got to think of something else. So uh, if you disconnect here and try to do it that way, he's still not breathing in, right? So the only thing breathing in for him is this ventilator in the vent circuit. So now we have to figure out how do you get it in the vent circuit. So this comes out. This has a little pin thing. This piece here, is it showing up? Um, you pop it off. This fits in there, just like that. So notice you didn't lift this up, you left it right where it was and you brought the medication to it, so you're not jiggling it everywhere. So the other thing you need to do is you need to watch his breathing pattern to know when an inspiration is occurring. So so when it's down, it's exhale, up is inhale. So down, up, down, up. And then you can also hear it in the peep valve, so down, up. So the absence of sound is the inspiration. So you can listen to it by ear and watch it till you get the feel for it. So the time that you're going to be compressing your MDI is when it's going in, which is the no sound in the peep or the up on its way up. So I do it by sound mostly. So see, I'm cradling it with four fingers underneath, the thumb on the top, and I'm bringing my fingers together. That's how it's going to compress it. So down in, and I'm going to wait a few breaths. Obviously, we're going to be doing trick here in a minute, but you can watch through here. You can see that the medication that I'm bringing in, will, it might show up. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to down, up. All right, so it was two puffs with this one. Go ahead and close it back up. You'll notice that when you open this, you're technically breaking the circuit open but the ventilator is not alarming because the sensitivities of the pressure is not set to where it would alarm with just this little bit of an opening. However, he isn't getting the same amount of pressure when it's open. So even though the ventilator is not alarming, you need to make sure that you close that back up. It's down, up. Wait a few more breaths. For the sake of this, I'm going to go a little faster. Generally, I wait about 15 to 20 breaths in between puffs. Down, up. And since Mike is set at a rate of 24, it's consistent. There's a pat you can tell. So if you have a patient that's breathing on their own and the vent's set for a BiPAP, it ha you have to time it to watch how it, things go up and down on the chest rise and fall. Um, but the ventilator is set for 24, so it makes it really easy for you to deliver it at the right amount. That's it.